Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the major U.S. tech stocks for Tuesday, October 20th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So in the yesterday's video, I was talking about that it was expected for most of the tech stocks to pull to back towards the 50 minute week average. And as you can see, it is still early in the session, but most of them have pulled back uh, quite a bit. So uh, Google has fallen nearly 1%, Facebook more than half a percent, Amazon more than half a percent, Netflix nearly half a percent. So the only ones that is basically are up still is Apple barely, and same goes for Microsoft. But it is expected for most of them to fall back towards the 50 minute week average. If that breaks, then they will go significantly lower. So we'll start out by looking at Google. So first of all, most all of the indicators are showing, except MACD, are showing that we are going to lower levels. We can see that RSI has turned around. That the SYNC or the CCI is also showing signs of a, basically a turnaround from a forward to, uh, to a bearish momentum. The same goes for the stochastic and also the uh, Bollinger Bands are showing signs that this is about to turn around at least towards the 20 moving average, which is at uh, 1,499. And the MACD is showing that it's signs of weakness. It has not crossed the signal line yet, but it's about to turn around uh, to lower levels. So we will first of all find resistance at the 50 moving average, which is here, which is $1,533. And after that, we will fall to these levels here at around uh, $1,436 and then to the 200 moving average as just underneath there. $1,322. If we stay above here, then we have to clear the top of this range, which is around $1,593. I don't expect that to happen, mainly due to the fact that there is not going to be a stimulus bill, or most likely won't be a stimulus bill before the elections. Uh, Republicans, Republicans don't have any interest of doing a major bill, as, and Democrats have no interest in basically giving uh, Donald Trump a major win just before an election. That would be really strange. So don't expect any, even though the news is say, saying that there is hope of a stimulus before the election, that is highly unlikely. And therefore, I'm saying it's most likely that we are going to see lower levels. So Facebook, Facebook has broken underneath the 50 moving average. We are testing the 40 exponential moving average at the moment, but I don't believe that is going to hold due to the fact that most of the technical indicators are showing signs of weakness and that it, the momentum has uh, changed to the downside. MACD is about to cross the signal line. Uh, the CSI, uh, RSI and the CCI are both showing signs that this is going to turn around to bearish. And the same goes for stochastic, and uh, the Bollinger Band is testing that 20 exponential, 20 moving average at this point. I do believe that will go towards these lows at around, at around this is $264. Um, worst case scenario, we'll fall towards the 100 moving average. If we break that there, we'll go all the way down towards the 150 moving average at $231. Uh, if we break above the 50 moving average, then we are going to these highs of, of uh, 280 and beyond that. But I don't believe that's going to happen without any additional stimulus. Um, we can look at Apple. Apple has uh, shown the 50 moving average uh, has shown to be uh, supportive. Uh, it was previous supportive, so it may well be that we will just hang around this area uh, before the election and after the election we will basically see a bigger movement or if there is additional news about stimulus uh, then we'll probably see this uh, see more movement in apple stock however technical indicators are a little bit mixed uh, stochastic is showing signs of bearishness the same goes for the um, cci the rsi is technically flat the same goes for the macd is flat and the bollinger band is also showing signs of technically is just trading sideways if we break below the 50 moving average and the exponential moving averages, we will go to the lowest we will technically go to is this level. This is the lows of uh, the last month. And also we have the 100 moving average here, which will be support. A break 
uh, up from this side is basically the highs will be first of all here 125 and then after that we will go to these highs of 137. I don't believe that was going to happen without any additional stimulus. More favoring downside than upside at this point. Microsoft has rallied earlier, broken down, and at this point, I do believe we'll find our way towards the 50 moving average, which is at the moment around $212. A break below that will open the door to the 100 moving average up to $106. And that's about as far as I think this market will go at this point. Uh, technical integrators are mixed. They are the MACD is basically flat. The same for the RSI. The same goes for the CCI. Stochastic shows signs of bearishness and so on. So first of all, uh, this is basically just to wait whether or not it falls down to these levels. And the same goes for most of these, uh, all of these tech stocks. It's not something that you short, it's something that you buy on the dips. It basically buy at a discount in order to, um, well, get better prices. If we break above here, then the highs of last week will be 200, will be resistance of $225. And after that, we have the highs of this was all the way back in in September. So um, yes, that's most likely not going to happen. So if you look at uh, Netflix, is technically trading the, um, at negative at the moment, zero plus. So, so it's technically in the same place. But we can see where this is going. We are definitely going to test the 50 moving average. And we most likely will also test the 100 moving average. So the 50 moving average is at uh, $505. And the 100 moving average will be absolutely the low point for this is $488. You can see that all the technical indicators are about to show, are showing sign of weakness. That MACD is about to turn around, crossing the signal line, indicating uh, bearish momentum. Same for the RSI, same for the CCI and the uh, stochastic and also the Bollinger Band. So this is a market that has been trading sideways for quite some time now. We have the highs here. We have a double top and we have the lows, very lows here, which I doubt we'll ever will get to at this point. We need to break the 100 moving average in order to get to the 150 moving average in order to get to those lows. So. I do believe we'll go to 100 moving average. Doubt that we'll get to the highs again before the election, but um, this is a good entry point. So look at Amazon. Amazon is about, has tested a 50 moving average, pulled back a little bit. I do believe that we'll go all the way towards the 100 moving average at this point before we go higher. So the 100 moving average is at $3,041. And if we break up from here, then we'll retest the highs of the last week, $3,492. And the all-time highs are just about that at $3,550. Um, 50 moving average will be resistant. It's a matter of time that we break down from here. And of course, this is also a stock that you buy on the dips. And as uh, if we basically see a dip similar to this one, then that's probably the best entry point that you can get. So we can see the technical, um, technical indicators. The MACD is about to turn around. Um, the RSI is flat at this point. The same goes for the CCI. And the stochastic is showing signs of uh, bearishness. And the MAC uh, Bollinger Band is basically hugging the 20 exponential moving average at, at the 20 moving average at this point. So I do believe that we are going to uh, go towards the 100 moving average. I don't know if we're going to get there, but basically when we uh, start seeing similar shines uh, in the CCI similar to this, then it is a uh, sign of a good entry to this market. All of these are not stocks that you technically sell or short. These are stocks that are very profitable or companies that are really profitable. And in the long run, they will basically uh, increase in value. And uh, therefore, buying on the dips is the best strategy for these stocks. Of course, with stop losses underneath. Um, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. 
hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.